Hi everyone, uh, long time no see. I hope that those of the people that live in um, the United States had a nice Thanksgiving. It was just yesterday. And today we're gonna do a, in honor of my favorite, one of my all time favorite singers, Taylor Swift. Um, her Speak Now World Tour live CD DVD came out a couple of days, oh, oh on Wednesday which was like two days ago. Actual, uh, I actually went to her tour um, in Newark, New Jersey the first night. I think that was back in July. And it was like, it was crazy because I went straight from um, right when I get, got back from Florida and I went straight and I was super tired. But once I got there, uh, suddenly it was like a burst of energy in me and I, just, I was just having fun and had so much fun with my best friend. And I was super excited when I found out that she was releasing a world tour DVD because I absolutely loved her show and I'm glad to see that it's immortalized in a DVD form. Ugh. Ugh. And of course, who isn't in love with Taylor Swift's makeup? Um, so I thought that we could attempt to recreate her look and it's the look that she wears quite a lot. Um, you could just find a photo of her on her tour uh, anywhere on Google. And so I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, it's super simple. The lighting in this in this intro is gonna be a little bit more darker than the clip that I'm about to roll into because I film my intros last once the look's done. And where I live, it's like fall time now and <laughs> the sun goes down super fast even though it's only 4.28. So I'm sorry, I tried to film this as early as possible, but I was just super stuffed and I was like in a coma from all the food that I cooked. I actually cooked our um, Thanksgiving dinner last night. Anyways, in all, enough rambling. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I would love it if you guys go out and purchase your own um, Taylor Swift Speak Now World Tour DVD. You guys are not going to regret it. I promise you. You'll have so much fun. Next thing you know, you're going to be singing along to it. And anyways, uh, here goes the tutorial. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that you do is you prime your eyelids. And I'm just using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I didn't tell you earlier, but I already had my foundation on and my um, eyebrows filled in just because it takes a long time and I don't really want this video to be that long. I'm gonna grab my um, Wet n Wild pa uh, Trio in the color Walking on Eggshells. I don't, know, I don't know, I have no idea what the name is. Okay. And then you grab a flat shader brush like this. This is a MAC 239. It's dirty. And I'm gonna, ooh. What the heck, Donna? Okay. I'm gonna grab this champagne color, load it up, tap off any excess, and just pat it on your eyelid all over. Once you have a color down, just take a 217, ooh, the glare, 217, this is MAC, or a, a crease brush, and take the color, the color called crease, which is just the middle brown, medium brown with gold flecks in it, tap off any excess, and just apply, start by applying it on the outer corner, concentrating it there, and then slowly work it up into your crease. But not all the way, just up into the middle, right here, right there. And then just do it softly. Now, take the, um, Blending brush, this is the this is the MAC 224 and just blend lightly until the colors start to tone down. Show you what I mean. It's 
It's nothing special. Oops. It's just a flesh tone color. I'm just going to use that. I'm going to take a 227 brush. You don't have to use this kind of brush. It doesn't matter what brush you use. And I think I said brush like five times in that sentence. <laughs> oh well. And then you apply it on your brow bone right there. A little bit right here to highlight it. See? That was in the pa in the trio. <sighs> Why do I keep trying to say palette? With this color right here. And I'm just going to apply that on the inner corner. Because you, if you could look at a close-up picture of Taylor at her concert, her inner corner is um, actually kind of like white. So it's like open, it brightens up her eye area and it opens it up. And the next step is doing the, creating the winged eyeliner that um, Taylor always, always wears, which I also always wear on a daily basis just because I love it. It really spices up any simple look. And I'm using the Maybelline Line Stiletto. I'm trying to see if this thing zooms in. Eh, I don't know. It's okay, so I'm going to need my handy dandy mirror because I can't see that far. Even though I have my contacts in. Yeah, I don't know why I'm babbling so much, too. Oh, I can't get this open. I can't get it open. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's do this super quick. Hopefully, I can do this without ruining it. All right, I started in the middle to open up my eyes. And then I'm just... mascaras just to amplify my lashes and I am going to use the first one I'm going to use is my Bare Essentials whoa, Bare Essentials Buxom mascara and this is just in the color black is black whoa. and this is what the brush looks like it has a three thing kind of body shape to it it's pretty cool and the second one is a drugstore mascara, and this is the color, I mean, color. Um, this is the one by one by Maybelline, and that's what the brush looks like. I mean, you don't have to layer mascara, but I want to do it. First one, whoops. Don't let it dry in between coats because you don't want your eyelashes to get clumpy. So. Okay. And then don't forget your bottom lashes. Don't forget your bottom lashes. I don't have no idea why I'm talking like that. Taylor doesn't really put any eyeliner down there. I think she relies more on um, just mascara because I, I think she said it once in an interview that she finds that her eyes are like chinky so I think that if you put, I mean I do it sometimes but I mean I am chinky too but if you, if you peel, I'm sorry I'm like losing my train of thought if you put like um, dark mascara, I mean not mascara, dark eyeliner down there, it kind of... Now we move on to the, to the face area or the cheeks. This is how I go. I mean you could do face first and then eyes and then lips last. I don't, I mean everybody has a different set of preference. Now, um, I don't, okay. Taylor doesn't use bronzer a lot because um, she's super pale and for some reason she doesn't really contour her face that much. Especially when if you look at photos of her on tour, so we're not gonna put any bronzer So we're just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of just very light um, natural pink blush and I'm I'm just gonna use the uh, May Maybelline dream mousse blush in the color soft plum This is very Like natural on me. I mean you could go according to whatever suits your skin type Skin tone, I mean.
And then I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones with the Benefit High Beam. Right above. Have, um, what's it called? A lot of lip balm on your on your lips. I suggest you blot. So I'm gonna do that because mm -mm -mm. we are gonna use. Um, well, I'm gonna use. You could use whatever color. I mean, um, lipstick, lip gloss, lip stain, lip stain, lipstick that you want. I'm just gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible um, Beyonce lip stain, and it's the one with the like. Ouch. Lip stain on one side and a lip balm on the other. And we're just going to apply this. Oh, my hand just deep dipped into that like crazy. Okay. Once the lip stain is completely dry, just take on, just take the, um, just take the lip balm that's with it and just dab it. Don't swipe it because you don't want, just in case the color is not completely dry, um, you don't want it to like smear all over the place or chip like a nail polish. So just dab it. Um, Taylor has a really matte lip throughout the show, so this gives it like a shininess. So don't overdo it, and that's it for the tutorial. Um, I hope you guys found it helpful, and thank you so much for watching.